They call it the Dell XPS 13 Plus, and in this video, let's unbox it. I have been waiting to get my hands on a Dell XPS 13 Plus for quite a while, and I'm excited to have one in the studio here. This has the Intel i7-1260P and 16 gigs of RAM. This would be like the perfect graphic design, photography, digital artist laptop. I'm excited to look at it. I'm liking the packaging so far. That is very classy. What's under here? Anything? Nope. So it's like that's everything in the box. I wonder if our charger's even in here. It has this little tab here I'm gonna pull up on. Let's do this together. Let's do this together, you and I. Unbox this thing. Okay, so here we go. Here's our charger. So our charger cord. Yes. And there's our charger block. Oh, that's kind of neat. So it still has like the big full wall charger that also connects into here. So this is gonna be your total charger brick setup. Let's see what size this is. It's a 60 watt charger brick. We also have, looks like we're not gonna have a headphone jack by the fact that they gave us this headphone jack to USB type C converter. And they also gave us a USB type A to USB type C converter. So do note that right off the bat, without even looking at the laptop, we are not going to have USB type A. I love this though, it was very classy. Man, a small package. Woo, that looks good. So we have two USB type C's. That is the extent of your connectivity. You can see the weight and thickness coming up on the screen. Such a sleek laptop. It, I mean, it looks exactly like the Dell XPS 15 I had all those years ago. They've, they've really been able to hone in on their design and uh, keep it so similar to what it's always been. Let's go ahead and check out the assembly real quick. Again, yeah, even these, these vents here, that was reminiscent of my original Dell XPS 15 years ago. You have a vent along the back of the chassis here, and of course these two on the side. Really nice looking, very well assembled, no catchy edges, aluminum build quality. This looks great. Let's go ahead and open the laptop with one hand. Opens with one hand. It's a little bit of like, oh, I just like, I'm just a little nervous it's gonna pop up, but it doesn't, so that's, Really good. Oh my word, this is weird. I'm freaking stoked about the Patreon that we're about to launch, absolutely. We're launching a freaking Patreon and you should join because it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have never before seen content on the channel. Patreon, not channel, channel's YouTube. So why is this content not being posted to YouTube? Well, the answer is really simple. I know that there is a tight group of loyal followers that follow my content and I wanna reward and be a part of the tight, loyal community that we have been building here as we've been reaching 85,000 subscribers. And I wanna go deeper with you guys. I wanna do live Q and A's. I wanna get face to face with you and chat in a live video call with my most faithful subscribers. I wanna repurpose that content and put it on my channel so you can then be featured in my channel with me. I want to do exclusive giveaways that I can't just launch to the masses of communities. There's sometimes I get to keep laptops, but I don't need them. And so it's a place for me to basically just give back to my most loyal community followers. Okay, so look what they show you here. So they show you right there, there's these lines. I don't know if you can see those. See the lines on the paper? If you can't, I'm gonna point them out. They're right here. That is your trackpad, okay? But then you pull it off. You can hear it. Click. I don't know if you can hear this. That's so crazy. Yeah. Oh man, this is really throwing me off. I'm, I'm guessing this is the power button here. This is like a new age laptop. Like I feel like I'm I'm on on the on the passengers movie. I don't know if you've seen that movie yet. There's a movie called Passengers, and they're going to Jennifer Lawrence, Chris something, wasn't Hemsworth. Somebody comment below who was in Passengers. But it's like just very minimal. It's almost like iRobot slash Passengers. Like this is such a beautiful minimalist design. Let me get this thing powered on. I can't even, can't even wait to power it on. All right, so we're plugged into the charger here. 
I'm almost positive this is the power button. Yep, okay, so it clicks on. This is the most unique laptop I've reviewed in the past four years. They've taken an even more extreme approach than I would say even Apple has taken because uh, they've taken the idea of the touch bar, right? They've inlaid it into this matte finish. And so rather than having this weird chintzy touch bar, they've just added the keys and they put them under these touch sensitive places on your keyboard deck. They've given you your keyboard, but they've hidden your trackpad as well. Man, this is neat. I'm like in love with this thing. Falling in love, I'm falling. The keyboard feels so nice under my fingers. There's no spacing between the keys. That might take some getting used to. We have our full size shift key. Um, let's see if I can type real quick. We are going to the park today if you want to join us on our little adventure. Yeah, it's not difficult to type on. I was able to, to kind of see and hit every single key. Now, before I ramble on and on and on, I'm gonna say one more time, this is something so unique and it really stands out as really a piece of tech that pushes the ball forward on the expectations of what we actually need physically indicated to us in a computer. Let's go ahead and show you a quick sample of the webcam so you can see what that looks like. This is the webcam on the Dell XPS 13 Plus and a little sample of the audio for you as well. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the laptop down, flip it over, see if there's any sort of upgrade path. I 100% doubt it, but let's check anyway, and then we'll keep moving forward in this video. So I've got the bottom cover off, and before I pull it off, I want you to realize something very, very, very important. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers. And if you are watching this video, take the one second and go ahead and subscribe so we can hit 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. You would be doing myself and everybody who's been a part of this channel a huge favor. Grateful for you. Now, as I pull off the bottom cover, we have a 55 watt hour battery, fingers crossed for more than maybe 10 or 15 hours of battery life. That would be absolutely amazing. We shall see once the full benchmark tests come in. One thing I'm very, very excited about is this does have a swappable SSD. I did not expect this. Looking at this computer compared to say like a MacBook Air, for instance, because I say this is a really strong competitor for the MacBook Air. You can't upgrade your storage. You are stuck with the storage you purchased the laptop with. And if you go to pay more for storage, it can be hundreds of dollars more for more storage in your laptop. I'm guessing this one comes with anywhere from 512 to one terabyte, but you could easily upgrade this to four terabytes or beyond. If you went to upgrade a Apple product from say like 500 gigs to a terabyte, it can be like two or $300. You can go ahead and replace this from maybe a 512 to a one terabyte for like 80 bucks, right? Or you can go from one terabyte to two terabytes for like 120 bucks. Like there's a lot of flexibility here with your storage. And I think that is awesome. We got nice fans here, planning on keeping the laptop cool, hopefully pretty quiet. And I'm looking forward to the performance of this laptop. So far the best laptop with this processor has been the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. I'm really hoping that this one can outperform it. I would love to see that, so. We shall see. All right, without further ado, would I purchase this laptop? Uh, absolutely. It is one of the laptops that I've been most impressed with this year from a evolutionary standpoint of seeing tech move forward, seeing if we can push the bounds on what needs to be identified and what doesn't need to be identified on your keyboard, on your system. And it has, I mean, really, this is just a minimalist wet dream, if I'm allowed to say that, because it is just so beautiful and simple. It's incredible. Sorry if that was a little too inappropriate. Punch for punch, absolutely love it. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Likes of this video has brought you some value. And of course, let's get to 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. Thank you very much. And I'll see you here in the next video.